Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can create a sort of scribbled, scratchy, sort of pencil drawn background in Illustrator. Now, I'm just going to use the brush tool. I'm just going to go over here to the brush tool and I'm going to use blue first time. And I'm going to set the opacity to around about 18. I'm using a pen in this video instead of using a mouse. So, basically, so I'm just going to quickly scribble that and now you can see you've got the first basic scribble now I'm going to apply it again I'm just going to go go and change it to a red apply it in red and I'm just going to scribble a little bit more just like that and again it will suddenly go to 18% opacity and what I'm going to do whoops just going to move that back and, and now what I'm just going to do just going to change the color again and maybe slightly lighter there. Right, I'm just going to very basic scribble. Don't, nothing particularly. You can create as many or as little as you want. Now, once you've actually got that scribble, I've got a scribble over here as well. So hopefully if this one doesn't work particularly well. Then I can always go back to that one. Now, so I've got that. What do you can do then? You can just drag that over into the symbols palette. And I'm just going to just drag it over there. Don't have to give it a name, keep it as that, and you've got the symbol stored over there. I'm just going to remove that now. And the next thing to do, just go over to the symbol sprayer tool. Now I've got that selected, that's the key thing that's actually selected in the symbols. You can't see the symbols, window and symbols. Symbol sprayer, and you can bring up various settings. Now in this, what I've done, I've actually set the diameter to 200, that's the default. And I've set pressure because I've got an art pad, pen, and all that sort of thing. And also I've set the spin to be user defined. So click OK. You can go to the spinner tool over there. See the settings there. OK. Now what you can do then is just apply that over there. So, now straight away you see the error. That's the first thing to do is to actually go back to not the spin tool. It would be a really nice feature if the actual tool just assumed, well, because obviously you want to spray, that it will go back to it by default. But it doesn't, unfortunately, it sticks there, even though there's nothing to actually do. So I put it back to that and then apply. And you can just apply it as much. You can just see, as you apply it, you can just see them rotating around and moving around. You can fill the entire, you can of course do it slightly, or as intense as you want, different areas, and then release, and there you have it. Very quick scribble, of course. You can always undo that, just go back, get rid of it if you don't want that, and just do it again. Maybe create it in that area, very intense, and you can go over to another part of the document, maybe less there, maybe a bit more over there, just hold it down with a bit more intensity, and then you see it spreading outwards, and then again a quick, very interesting sort. And of course, you could create this with a, a couple of hours of scribbling away with a pen. But uh, here you've got a very quick and reasonably convincing pen pencil scribble in an Illustrator, which you of course could uh, save as a PNG file. Or of course, it's a vector design, so you can edit it a bit further if you want to edit all those lines. It'd be very tricky, I imagine. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.